I may all. Yeah. Has not, landed occasionally. Yeah, not a big fan of that point. No. It's kind of a dangerous. Yet, yet Calderon hasn't done anything to count. Not yet. Hasn't made him pay for it. Very frankly, I thought I would see more left hooks to the body from Mayol tonight because he used that very well against Archie Solis. Thing is, when you're fighting a shorter guy and you notice that Calderon's left elbow, I mean right elbow, I should say, is down low there, it's kind of tough to sneak that left hook into the body. Solid left hand by Calderon. This is the fight he actually wants to fight now. He wants to make his man miss and wants to use the ring. He's doing it pretty well right now. The only thing Calderon isn't doing, he's not throwing many punches. I don't think he's found the range yet. What are your thoughts through the first three? Are you getting a sense of anything yet? Well, you know what? I'm kind of surprised oh God, that, uh, that there's not more pressure from Mayo because you know he's in there looking for a knockout. I thought Calderon fought a pretty good third round, and I gave it to him. And I think that if he can get the range, be able to move in and out and pop Mayo with shots, he can start to fight the fight he wants to fight. But it's not going to be easy. And he's got to fight a very, very careful fight because Mayo's a big puncher. I do think we're going to see more aggression from the challenger as the fight goes on. A good house here in Madison Square Garden in anticipation of this championship bout and later on Miguel Cotto and Joshua Clotty. Round four. How do you have it scored through the first three, Wally? I got it, 29-28, two rounds to one for the challenger, Mayo. But now it appears that Calderon is starting to figure out how to time his man. Calderon getting off first and throwing a combination for the first time. If there is one advantage, I would say that Calderon has here is hand speed, and I think he can exploit that, but he's got to be real quick in and out and not get caught on his way in. But considering the long arms and the reach of Mayol, wouldn't Calderon be effective working on the inside? Absolutely. I, I don't think, you know, I, I, I think that he's quick enough to go side to side and maybe slip those jabs, but I think he'd be much better off Getting inside, trying to get under those arms, smother those punches. I just don't think it's his game. Calderon has picked it up a little bit here at the start of round four. And they all, the one on the attack a moment ago. I'm actually surprised that Calderon is the guy doing most of the rough stuff in there. Oh, we got we got yeah. some heads. First clash of heads, and that bothered Calderon a little bit. You know bit. what he's thinking about. Yeah. He met that fight last August. No Mayo almost countered Calderon there with a left hand. Right hand lead by Mayo. Good shot. And the left hook lands by Calderon. Now again, Calderon not a big puncher, only six knockouts in his 32 fights. So don't expect him to get his man out with one punch the way Solis did with Mayol. Oh, good right hand by Mayol. As he caught Calderon moving in. That's what Calderon's got to be, but has to be wary of on his way in. Got to move side to side. He comes straight in. He's definitely run into a fight under. <laughs> Final seconds of round four. 
tough round to score. Before you ask me, I'm yeah. telling you, at the top board. I, I agree with you. Manny Pacquiao Manny, and Ringside. Manny Pacquiao. Stable mate. He'll be very, well, a, a, yeah, a, a male. male. But certainly he'll be interested in the main event. Oh, you know it. He'll be scouting the winner. But he's got so much on his plate already. I mean, you know, they're talking about a Shane Mosley fight, obviously the one I don't know, you to see. Is a Mayweather fight. Mayweather is the, the big talk. That would be the big the big bout. Absolutely nothing bigger than that right now in boxing. I see a little straight there. Let's see if we can see how it happened there with Calderon. The heads came together after that right uppercut. And you're right, boy, that really did. That affected Calderon. I'm sure he was feeling around to see if the same thing was happening again. Round five. Get him out on time. Let's go. Let's look at it from Mayo's perspective. If you're in his corner, you liking what he's done so far? No, not at all. Not at all. Oh, again, again, the heads oh. came together. Oh boy, this is getting to be a bad habit. Accidental headbutt. Accidental headbutt, Benji Estevez. And the rule so is that the people at ringside. Go ahead, Wallace. If they stop the fight here, I believe it would be a technical draw. I think you have to complete four rounds before they go to the scorecards. Oh, we have a complete oh, they, score they round. Four Guess rounds. what? Yeah. My scorecard says it's a draw. And there's a cut on the forehead, dripping down. Second time they've wow. clashed heads, and this time a cut open on the forehead of the champion, Ivan Calderon. Yeah, you know, I can't be sure, but it doesn't look like it's in the same exact spot. So let's see his response. That is a, that's a bad break. Because he knows he's bothered by it. Oh, oh wow. Back your head, back. Again. I think Calderon wouldn't be unhappy if this fight was stopped. My goodness. You can You're see Calderon noticeably upset yeah. and concerned about the cut. You know, interestingly enough, he may have initiated that because he's the guy trying to get inside. There's the doctor checking it out. When we see the replay, let's see whose head hits whose first. But Calderon's the guy coming in low and then coming up. It's possible that he, he initiated the contract uh, contact. He says yes. There's one high on the floor, yeah. but there's a... Is that a second cut right over the, over the eyebrow? eyebrow. Right. The one that stopped the fight with Cazares was right in the middle of his head, so this is a different spot. Fans urging on Calderon. Wow. Still two minutes to go in round five. Could very well be the winner of this round could win the fight. If they were to go to the cards. So, I mean, this is a crucial minute and 45 seconds for both of these guys. And they all with a headlock and a, a punch on the break. Yeah. This, this fight is getting a little ugly. They're both losing their composure a little bit. Now, Calderon seems to have collected himself to the point where he's not letting the cut bother him. Well, I think he, he realizes wisely that, you know, if this is an even fight and he wins the fifth round, you know, he could get away with a technical win here. He caught Mayol coming in, but then the referee cautioned him about an elbow. <laughs> there was a little extra, a little extra contact there from the elbow. That's this is getting great. to be a very, very rough fight. shocked that Mayol is not being more aggressive right now. He's got his man bleeding. He's got the guy disconcerted at the very least. He should be throwing everything he's got. Now that, the blood is dripping down the forehead of Calderon. I don't know if it's getting into his eye. But you know he's not liking it. You know that. And I just cannot imagine why Mayol is not pressing this advantage more. The 
There'll be work to do in the corner of the champion. Left hook landed by Mayo. And the right hand by Calderon. End of round five. That's going to be a tough cut to close, too, because of where it is. You can't really squeeze it together there. Or maybe you can. Respira duro. Drink, drink that water. Drink. Very quiet in Mayo's corner. I've been telling him, you got to go after this guy because you're on the verge of getting him out of there. All right, let's take a look if we can see exactly when this happened. You see